Welcome back to QFITS View. In this video we will demonstrate editing FITS headers. All FITS files have a header with metadata. This is displayed through the menu File Display FITS Header, showing the keys, values and any comments. You can search for keys or values through the search box. For instance, I will search for keys containing C delt. You can search again with the next button. You can manually edit the key values by double clicking on a line, changing the value, then press enter or click the green tick. You can add keys to the header editing mode. Just select a blank line, we go down to the bottom here, select the line and double click on it, and enter for instance new key equals 20, and then press the green tick. As you can see the key is automatically capitalized. Some of the keys are not editable. For instance, the number of axes and the axis size. If I try to edit this, I get this sort of a message. The World Coordinate System, WCS, can be edited through the Edit WCS button. You can set the starting pixel and value and the step between pixels for the axes. These are called CRPIX, CRVAL and CDELT plus the axis number. For instance, if the RA and the DEC of the data is wrong, we can change this by editing axis 1 and 2 CRVAL values. I'll just close that. And we will have a look at the coordinate in the middle. The current RA value is 12, 27, 46 and 13, 00, 32 as the centre. Let's change this by editing the WCS. Display edit WCS. Note you have to convert the sexadecimal number to decimal. So I'm going to change that to 185 and to 13.5 and then close and then the value now has changed to 121959.996 and 13.2959.88. Those values can also be set through the set WCS procedure. As you can see here, it automatically does this when you manually enter the values, the set WCS buffer here. The FITS keys can also be written and read through DP user. For example, the procedure set FITS key in buffer one. I'll set the new value xxx and set it to the value my key xxx and then I'll go to display fits header and I'll search for xxx and you can see here's the new value uh, this is a way of creating the keys but it also resets the value of any existing key. For instance, I could say set fits key buffer one equinox 1900. Then if we have a look, and then we can see the equinox value has been changed to 1900. Let's close that. You can also read the FITS keys. For example, print 
get fits key buffer one exp time and we get the value of 300. Keys are deleted using the procedure delete fits key buffer one xxx and then when we go and have a look at the looking for xxx it's not found so the key has been deleted that's all for this video check out other videos on our youtube channel